Dublin hoods were mostly made from wool and were typically smaller than the Jorvik Viking hoods. These hoods were made from a rectangular piece of fabric with the point sticking out at the back of the head. The rectangles were approximately 19 inches long and about 6 and 3 fourths inches wide. Since I am using a scrap piece of fabric, my measurements are slightly smaller. Also, I am using linen instead of wool because this will be worn during the hot summer months and I want a lighter fabric. During the Viking era, linen may have been used for a hood, although we do not have evidence of this because linen does not survive in the ground. This type of hood could be found in a variety of colors, all from natural dyes such as woad, English walnut, and madder. I will include a link in the description below for more information on Viking caps. After measuring out the fabric for this cap, I am hemming up the edges so that the linen fabric does not fray with use. After hand stitching the hood together, I decided to add some simple decorative trim to this hood. Many of this style of cap found have the seam on the back side of the head. When completed, the bottom of the hood should reach just below your ears. The Dublin hoods have ties on the bottom edge corners. I am currently working on lucette cords to attach to this hood. 
I will include a link below in the description for how to make a Lucette cord. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the side of the page. Please select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out.